Hi folks, it's uh, Dr. Matt, Matt Scholl again from Student Health Services with our next Q&A. This is episode seven in the COVID-19 series, which today pertains to the use of masks specifically for those that are well and want to stay well. We call that the asymptomatic population. Um, mask use in this scenario is a bit of a contentious one and is presenting a tad bit of confusion, I think largely due to social media. There's a lot of information on TV recently about this and it can be overwhelming and it can have some inconsistencies, particularly if it comes from the United States. So take things sometimes with a grain of salt what you see on media in general. Um, I have discussed masks a little bit in pre previous episodes, and by, by the way, the term mask is now being referred to as a cloth facial covering, but for simplicity's sake, uh, we'll continue to use the word mask for discussion purposes. Um, there's a lot of different masks, as you can see they're out here. I've got some N95 masks, uh, I've got some respirators, and also I've got a mask that, in the spirit of things, I made. There's a link that will be uh, attached to this by Dr. Jerome Adams. He is the U.S. Surgeon General showing how to make a mask himself. I made one myself and it was kind of cool and, and in the spirit of things. It did help me get rid of, the, one, rid of one of those you know, dad shirts that are sort of embarrassing to the family shirts or inappropriate for church type shirt. Mine is washable, comfortable, and yes, I believe it is somewhat trendy. So, and it does work, so here you go. My attempt. Uh, in addition, like I said, uh, we have the N95 masks and there are other derivations of what's here and the, the, uh, the key with these is they need to be fit. You need to be fit to wear these, these things correctly or basically they're just uh, dust masks or cloth masks. In addition, uh, there are some myths that are circulating around about mask use in the general population and I've compiled a few of these and the first myth is that wearing a mask means that I do not I do not have to exercise social distance, which again is, couldn't be and could not be further from the truth. Uh, in rea realistically speaking, it's important and you must keep that six foot radius around you at all times, and which uh, indeed segues into number two, which is the myth that your mask keeps you from getting sick. No, this again does not keep you from getting sick. It basically is there to help contain your germs. Unless you've been mask fit correctly by an accredited fitter and you're wearing at least an N95 mask, one of these, uh, you will get uh, air around the mask, you will not get a good seal, and you can still get sick despite wearing that mask. It will give you a false sense of security. The third myth um, is that um, I need to wear it everywhere. So the answer to that is nope, if you're on a walk, driving in a car, in situations where social distancing is not an issue, there is no need to wear a mask. But again, keep that six feet away and continue giving the gift of distance, kind of like you're wearing a giant sumo suit, if you will. Myth number four is that everyone should wear a mask all the time. So if we break this down to the nitty gritty in terms of who should wear a mask and or what situations a mask is indicated, um, keep in mind other things. For example, certain cultures endorse uh, mask wearing. It's called a social norm and that needs to be respected. Uh, also, the situation where anybody that expects that social dis distancing will be an issue that should wear a mask. For example, things like grocery shopping, going to Costco and stuff like that. You sometimes have no control over who's around you, so uh, a mask is indicated. The fifth, myth, the fifth myth is that I've got a mask, so in general, I'm good, right? That translates to what is wearing a mask actually doing for me and potentially for others. Um, I like in wearing a mask, it's kind of like taking the sleeve of your shirt that you would ordinarily cough or sneeze into and basically cut that out and stick it on your face. That's basically what a cloth facial covering or, or a mask does. Uh, presto, there's your mask, uh, be it homemade, cloth or scarf. Um, it is there basically ostensibly to limit the spread of your germs but does not prevent you from getting sick. There are a couple links that I'll attach to the bottom of this that I feel are useful. I think you should check them out. There's some, they're from some really smart people. Um, and for example, Dr. Tam, who's our medical officer of health. I alluded to do, uh, Dr. Jerome Adams, who's the US Surgeon General, and, and based on, on how to make your own washable facial covering. And there's a link to the CDC as well. Check these out if you can. Hopefully they'll fill in the blanks or answer any questions that you have in addition. Um, again, as I sign off, I would say to you, please stay well, feel free and be encouraged to wear a mask when you feel it's indicated or you feel it's necessary. And at the same time, and more importantly, maintain that physical distancing. As I said, it's like wearing a giant sumo suit. And as equally important, please maintain for your mental health and well-being to remain socially connected. Um, so basically until next time, stay well, stay connected, continue giving the gift of social distance and mask up when you see fit. Bye for now.